CDC shrimp. Secure your shrimp hook in the uh, vise and attach the tying thread and run it down to the so it hangs level with the barb. Take a large bunch of white or your preferred colour of uh, CDC fibres. These I'm tying in uh, are from Swan CDC which are a little longer and a little more robust and uh, once these are secure you can uh, start stripping a couple of cock hackles for the uh, feelers of the shrimp. Trim these off and like so and these you should uh, tie in one each side of the beard. Now cut a strip of uh, a, a clear relatively stiff shell back material. This will form the uh, exoskeleton of the uh, shrimp and secure this just at the base of the uh, beard. It's important that this lies flat on the hook shank. Now a uh, length of medium copper wire this will be the rib and the uh, segmenting of the uh, shrimp. Again, secure, secure this well in. And re return the uh, tying thread to the base of the beard. Now, a couple of plastic eyes. These are plastic dumbbell eyes. Uh, I don't like to use weighted eyes on this fly because it'll turn it upside down when fished. Whereas the uh, the weight of the wide gape shrimp hook will uh, keep this pattern the correct way with these plastic eyes when fished. And secure these again right at the base of the CDC beard. Once those are secured, you can uh, mix your dubbing here I use a white, uh, light bright, mixed with just a little bit uh, of uh, pink light bright. And when you apply this dubbing, it should be quite loose because you want uh, you want some good hairy legs on this pattern. And again, winding in the dubbing, make sure that you brush the fibres the correct way with each turn just to form the legs and continue all the way back to the hook eye. Now with a old toothbrush just to open up the fibers and get them all brushed the correct way and this will open up the back of the shrimp to uh, give a good segmenting of the uh, of the shell back. Now pull the shell back between the eyes make sure that it's central along the uh, top of the hook and tie this in directly behind the eye. Don't worry if you catch a few fibers there, that's, uh, that's okay. Once you're happy with uh, everything's looking good, you can go on to the next uh, stage of putting in the rib. Now I like to use the toothbrush here just so we can br brush all the uh, leg fibers out so they're not caught with each turn of the rib. And four or five turns of rib should do it depending on the uh, the size of the fly. Once you've wound in the rib you can uh, secure it just behind the hook eye and uh, remove the access by just trimming it off as close to the hook eye as possible. Now uh, just get your fibers brushed the correct uh, way and you can trim off the access shell bag and uh, you can whip finish and uh, remove the tying thread. And with a pair of serrated scissors you can trim the legs of the shrimp to the required length. Remove the uh, 
all the loose material so you can get a good idea of how it's looking. Beard looks good, feelers look good, the eyes are fine. And there. And once you're done, just a drop of uh, varnish to secure the whippings. There you have your finished uh, CDC shrimp.